In this video, I am going to discuss about a very special geometric solid that is a regular octahedron. At first, let us know about octahedron. Here you see one octahedron. The meaning of octa is 8 and the hadron indicating a geometric solid having a specified number of faces or surface. So, a solid having 8 plane triangular faces we can call as octahedron. Now, let us see when we can call this octahedron as a regular octahedron. If all the triangular faces are equilateral triangle, in that case, we can call the octahedron as a regular octahedron. Now, the construction of a regular octahedron. First, consider a square. We know a square has four equal sides. Then, then four straight lines with the equal length of one side of a square meet at a common point of both sides of this square. These lines are called edge of regular octahedron. To construct a regular octahedron, we need 12 lines of equal length. These 12 lines or edges in a regular octahedron create total 8 faces which all are equilateral triangles. And these edges are meeting lines of 2 faces. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The corner point where 4 edges meet is called vertex. And 3 equal edges create a faces of regular octahedron. Here, this one is the lateral surfaces or we can say this one is faces. And edges are the meeting lines of 2 faces. Here, this red line indicates the edge, the meeting line of these two faces. And this yellow line indicated the distance between two vertices. These two vertices. In case of regular octahedron, all the distance between vertices are equal. In a regular octahedron, there are total six vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. And at each vertex, four edges meet. That is, the vertices are meeting point of four edges. If we see separately, the upper portion is consists of four triangular faces. And similarly, the lower portion. So in a regular octahedron, there are eight faces which all are equilateral triangle. Now, let's find the total surface area of a regular octahedron. One octahedron can be split into two equal pyramid with a square base. Each pyramid is consists of four equilateral triangle. So the total surface area will be total area of eight such equilateral triangle. And we know the area of each equilateral triangle is square root of three by four and edge is squared because this length all length are equal for a regular octahedron we can we call this length as edge and this three equal edge make a equilateral triangle that's why the area of equilateral triangle is square root of three by four edge is squared and this length indicate the edge for a regular octahedron all the edge length are equal now the total surface area that is 8 into square root of 3 by 4 a z square. We know square root of 3 by 4 a z square is the area of each equilateral triangle. To construct a regular octahedron, we need just 8 equilateral triangle. So the total surface area is equal to 8 into square root of 3 by 4 a z square. If we simplify this one, we get 2 into root over 3 into a z square. This is our working formula for finding the surface area or total surface area of a regular octahedron. We can use this formula to find the total surface area of a regular octahedron when the length of edge is given.
Now, the volume of regular octahedron, we can divide the regular octahedron in two equal pyramid. And if we find the volume of pyramid, and, and if we double the volume of pyramid, we get the volume of regular octahedron. To find the volume of a regular octahedron, first consider this upper part, that is one pyramid. And we know the volume of pyramid is one third the area of base into height. So the volume of regular octahedron will be 2 by 3 into area of the base into height. That is the double of the volume of pyramid. At first, let's find the height of each pyramid. To find the height of pyramid, we need to draw two diagonal on the base of this pyramid. And if we draw a line from this intersecting point to the opposite vertex, this, the length of this line represents the height of this pyramid. Since the distance between two vertex of a regular octahedron are equal, so we can call this height as half length of this diagonal. That is, this length and this length will be equal. So we can call this line as a height. And this height and this half diagonal and this edge make a right angle triangle. Applying Pythagoras theorem, we can easily find the value of this height when this edge length are given. At first, let's find the value of this diagonal. And this diagonal with these two edges makes a right angle triangle. So, according to the Pythagoras theorem, we can write the length of this diagonal is equal to square root of this edge square plus this edge square. That is, the length of diagonal is equal to square root of edge square plus edge square. So the value will be square root of 2 into edge square. We can easily find from here the value is square root of 2 into edge. This one is the length of one diagonal, that is the distance between two vertexes. And we need the value of half of this one. So the half of this diagonal is square root of 2 into h divided by 2, that is h divided by square root of 2. Now we know the value of this half diagonal and the value of h. Applying Pythagoras theorem, we can write the height is equal to square root of h square minus the value of half diagonal. As we know, the length of half diagonal is the value of this height, that is, the, and this triangle is isosceles right angle triangle that is these two lengths are equal so here we verify this one that is the height and this half length of diagonal are equal so height is equal to square root of a z square minus the length of half diagonal that is a by root over 2 square after simplification we can write a equal a divided by square root of 2 so we can we see here the height and the half length of this diagonal are equal. That is height equal to s divided by square root of 2. Now we can easily find the volume of regular octahedron. That is if we substitute the value in this formula. That is 2 by 3 into area of base into height. We can easily find the volume of regular octahedron. So 2 by 3 into area of the base. We know this base is a square. And the length of each side is equal length of the edge of this octahedron. So the area of base is edge square and height if is edge divided by square root of 2. If we substitute the value of area of the base and the height, we can easily get the volume of the total regular octahedron. Now, after simplification, we can easily get the formula that is square root of 2 divided by 3 into a cube. That is when the value of edge is given for a regular octahedron, then we can apply this formula to find the volume of that regular octahedron. That is square root of 2 divided by 3 into a cube. This one is a regular octahedron and this yellow line indicating the distance between two vertices. And this distance is the double of the height of each pyramid as we see previous. That is 2 by square root of 2 into a that is square root of 2 into h. We already find this one. Now, let's see the volume when the distance between two opposite vertices is given. 
consider this distance as a d. Now, when this d is given, that is the distance between two vertices are given, then what will be the volume of this regular octahedron? We know the height of this is pyramid. That is, if we divide this regular octahedron into two equal pyramid with the square base, then the height will be the half of this distance between two vertices. Half of this one. So, height of this pyramid is d by 2. Now, from here, we can easily find the length of A. That is, we know this height and the half of this distance between two vertices makes a isosceles right angle triangle. These two lengths are equal. From here, we can easily find the value of A. That is, A is equal to square root of d by 2 whole square plus d by 2 whole square. From here, we can easily find the A is equal d by square root of 2. Substitute the value of A in the original formula of volume. That is, B equal to square root of 2 by 3 into A cube. We can easily get the volume of the regular octahedron. That is, square root of 2 by 3 into d cube divided by 2 square root of 2, which is equal d cube divided by 6. So, this is our working formula when the distance between two vertices are given. In that case, the volume of regular octahedron is d cube divided by 6. Now, let's see the surface area when distance between two opposite vertices is given. As previous, that is, we find the length of A and then the substitute the value of A in the formula of total surface area of a regular octahedron. That is A equal 2 into square root of 3 into A z square. If you substitute the value of A here, we get 2 into square root of 3 into D square by 2, which is equal to square root of 3 into D square. That is when the distance between two vertices is given. In that case, the total surface area will be square root of 3 into D square.